Aloha, and welcome to the Secret Art of Huna podcast, where I'll be sharing how to use Huna, the carefully guarded spiritual, energetic, and healing practices of the ancient Hawaiians, to help you transform those bits of your life that aren't working, to help you find your purpose, or maybe just to help you dump emotional baggage. I'm Dr. Jane Lewis, and 20 years ago, I was burnt out, depressed, unfulfilled, disappointed, directionless, and deeply, deeply miserable. Huna enabled me to change all that, and so I now share it with whoever wants to experience a more joyful, fulfilling life. Aloha, and welcome to The Secret Art of Huna. And today I'm in Hawaii, and I'm down, right down by the beach, and I'm watching the people going for their early morning walks. And very shortly, I'm going to go for my early morning swim. All of which is not just designed to make you feel jealous, <laughs> but to give you a little bit of enjoyment of Hawaii, sharing a little bit of Hawaii with you. Today, I thought I'd talk a little bit more about changing your thoughts and the power of thinking. I did a video very recently on it, and I think it's an incredibly important topic because science in general, and even biology and quantum science are showing us the importance of our thoughts. The esoteric traditions, the shamanic traditions, they've all known always how important our thoughts are. But science is catching up, as science is catching up in a lot of ways. And science, through experimentation and research, is beginning to show just how important our thoughts are and how powerful our thoughts are. There are stories, old stories, of people who have changed their thinking or through their thinking have managed to defeat physical illness. There's a very famous story of, um, in the early days of cancer medication, of a guy who had a stomach cancer. And he was very rich and his passion was for flying. And he was in the hospital. And he'd heard about this drug that was uh, designed to sort everything out. But the drug itself was in trial and could only use, be used in certain circumstances. But the guy, being rich, negotiated with his surgeon. And even though he wasn't supposed to be on the trial, the surgeon said, sure, he could be on the trial. But what the surgeon did, and the trial, it was a drug, I think the name was uh, Krabiofen, from memory. And what the surgeon d did, but he didn't tell the guy, was he gave him a colored water. He didn't actually give him the drug. But because the guy believed that the colored water was the drug and that it was a magic pill, magic solution, and that it would work, his stomach cancer, the, the surgeon talks about it overnight, it melted like a snowball. It just went from being a lump to being a nothing lump. The power of belief. One treatment is enough, it will heal me. And sure enough, it did. So very soon he was off flying and living his life to the full. Then, some while later, it came out in the press that the, the wonder drug, the miracle drug, actually was not a miracle drug and had no effect whatsoever. And within days of this coming out in the press, the guy was back with his surgeon and the stomach cancer was back. His belief has been shattered by the fact that this thing that he believed was the miracle, he thought he'd had the miracle, he'd let the stomach cancer go and the miracle was no longer a miracle, so the cancer was back. This time, the 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 the, the palate the, the placebo didn't work and eventually he did die but the here's the thing the power of belief in that case to shrink a severe cancer tumor down to nothing and then recreate it when the belief no longer was the belief that there was a solution was no longer strong that's extraordinary that's truly truly extraordinary. Now, there are some seats and uh, seats and things going up on the beach behind me. You could say with the power of belief I should just delete them. But I'm going to pause the video for a moment while this happens 
and then I'm going to resume the video in a moment or two and I'll continue. Okay, I think we'll just go ahead despite the uh, the, the beach <laughs> the beach chairs being put up. So I was recently looking at a um, uh, a meme, a, a glyph, I'm not quite sure how to describe it, um, from Bruce Lipton. Now Bruce Lipton wrote a great book called The Biology of Belief. And in The Biology of Belief, one of the things that he talks about is, or the main thing that he's talking about actually, is the power of thought to change what's going on in our body. What Lipton discovered, and he's a, he is a, a, a biological scientist, what he discovered was that environment, if you put cells in a, pet, a petri dish, a, a, you know, a chemical experimentation dish, if you put cells in a petri dish and you change their environment, it has a significant effect on the way they develop. If you think about it, our thoughts create an environment in our body. So the thinking environment that we create in our body changes the environment that our cells are living in. So in terms of physical health, just physical health, changing your thinking is incredibly powerful and incredibly important. Bruce Lipton's not the first to come up with this. Candice Pert, who wrote The Molecules in Motion and was uh, nominated as a Nobel uh, Prize winner for her work on opiate receptors in the brain. Candice Pert talks about this. The molecules are, of emotion are all about how our emotions affect uh, basically the, 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 the messenger systems in our body and how they, they change and how, how their, the reactions change in relation to our thoughts and our emotions because our emotions really are an expression of our thoughts. So changing your thinking can change the physical environment within your body, your physiological system within your body. So if it can change the physiological system within your body, if by thought alone you can actually heal yourself, as the, the gentleman with the cancer drug showed, then what else can you change with your thinking? And clearly one of the things is your experience, the day-to-day -day experience that you're having in life. I know because I've been there, because I was clinically depressed for quite a long time, I know how difficult it is sometimes, or how difficult it seems, actually that's the key, how difficult it seems when you're really down in the dumps, you, you you just can't see a way out. It's like you're in the tunnel and there ain't no light at the end of it. I know how difficult it can be. And I know what miracles happen when you actually do accept the power of your thoughts to change everything. Allow yourself, give yourself permission, accept the idea that changing thought is powerful and is possible. Allow it to happen for yourself and you can open up a whole new vista, a whole new world, a whole new experience. So my message for today is your thoughts are powerful, incredibly powerful, more powerful than you might even think or believe. Take control of them, use them, change them, so that you can have a different experience. And if sitting on a beach in Hawaii is your thing, you end up sitting on a beach in Hawaii because that's what happened for me. I changed my thinking. I changed what I believed about myself. I accepted that my thoughts were powerful. And now, twice a year, I get to sit on a beach in Hawaii, which definitely is my thing. If you want to talk more, then thesecretartofhuna.com slash diary. We can arrange a, a complimentary conversation to see if I can help you or if I can re recommend somebody else who, who, who might be a better place to help you. There's also the forgiveness challenge. So if you go to secretartofhuna.com slash forgiveness, you can see the forgiveness challenge, which if forgiveness is the challenge, 
that is uh, keeping you stuck in your thinking, then there's a whole program there that can help you change your thinking. And I'll be talking to you very soon. Take care now. I hope you've enjoyed today's podcast. If you want to bring about rapid transformation in your life, check out secretartofhuna.com where you can also download a free meditation to help you with self-forgiveness. You can also look out for Secret Art of Huna on social media such as Facebook and LinkedIn. I look forward to talking to you again very soon.